Good morning and welcome to Tech Talks. Today I have one of the co-founders of Showgifts in the name of um, Olauloa uh, Samuel B. Um, Showgifts is presumably the first um, online gift card um, platform in Nigeria and so he's here to tell us about it and why they started it. So, Olauloa, good morning. Um, good morning. Welcome to Tech Talks. Thank you very so, much. Why did, why did you guys think that this would be successful? Well, we had references from, from all over the world that, you know, the prepaid market was huge. Everywhere else was perhaps about 5% of the entire retail sector in most of the other markets across the world. And, you know, even developing markets were beginning to adopt different prepaid instruments. And we thought, developing market? Markets like Nigeria? No, markets yeah. like India <laughs> okay. and in Asia and South America as well. Africa was pretty much the only geographical uh, continent in, in essence that didn't really begin to explore this supplementary sales channel for the retail sector. So we thought we were very well positioned, my co-founders and I, to be the guys to really attack that sector and that's why we launched it. So when I look at the Ni Nigeria demography and I think of the number of citizens we have here and the number of people that I presume would adopt um, this type of um, purchasing, um, what what numbers did you have that gave you that confidence and and uh, I, I, and then how did you were you able to convince other people to raise funding for this for this type of business yeah so so you know we, we didn't really believe the the idea that you know nigerians are just culturally averse to adopting this sort of you know technology so we're sort of at the front lines of the entire e-commerce renaissance around 2012 where a lot of the messages we heard was that you know, Nigerians do, would not shop online, Nigerians would not pay with their card, but we saw how that was quickly defeated by just by simply having the fact that these companies existed to offer those services. So we thought that you know, we should at least test it out to see uh, if Nigerians would adopt it. It's a big market, you know, lots of malls are open here and there, the retail sector is getting a lot more sophisticated. So as that gets sophisticated, we need to layer on top of it more sophisticated instruments like our products as well. So we thought we should do it. So, 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 what's the process for a um, for, yeah. for somebody who wants to buy something for someone for someone else? Right. Try to make it as straightforward as possible. So you go to the, the website, you see a merchant that you you like. So you see, you know, you know, a coffee lover, and you like to purchase them coffee, right? So you buy them, you select a cafe new gift card, for example, and you you know select the value that you want. You know, choose how you want it delivered to the, to the person. So either via email or as a physical physical gift card. And the value you selected gets delivered to the recipient's email. And they can walk into the cafe new outlet to spend that value. So, so tell me, so what do customers uh, prefer? Cards or emails? Uh, I think it, the, well, most of our customers have preferred emails just simply because it's convenient, it's instant, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, ge geographically, you know, convenient it's just to send it wherever you are in the country, wherever you are in the world. So emails seems to be very much. Yeah. Okay, so you so so let me so, so you are actually a, a, an elegant broker. So you're connecting people with the markets that they like. to the brands that they like using a unique delivery, yeah, de yeah uh, and, 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 and a prepaid uh, instrument for. For, for people, so is it? I mean, so and you're online. Do you have a an app app app, um, uh, app option? No, we've, we've not deployed an application for people to purchase yet. That is in the pipeline. We've not really gone hard on the retail peer to peer segment. Our big focus so far had been the our corporate customers that are, that use this for their employees and customer rewards programs. So companies that want to, that are trying to transition away from this rice and oil culture. Or this no, that rice and oil culture is there. Yeah. Yeah. So it was there for a while. It's generational. It's generational. Yeah. yeah, but you quickly find that it's a logistics nightmare. It is. The couples both get rice and oil from I, their I different can tell you companies. About it. So you can get a voucher that you can choose to purchase rice and oil if you wanted to, but also for other household items um, that you can buy with our vouchers. You know, some some of this thing is traditional. There's some tradition behind it. So people just like the so the idea of rice and oil is not in fact even the cost of delivery is actually in the end sometimes much more than yeah, the, the value, than the the value. value. But if I if I say to my 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 wonderful colleague the diamond bank and say you know rice and oil this time will credit your account with the with the value. I think I won't be MD for too much for much longer. No, 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 that's, so, that's, 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 what, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah. So what we heard you know when we we're deploying this was that you know the, the staff like to 
hog the bag of rice and carry the, the keg of oil, but that was not really the case, you know. You're not giving them cash, so you're still, you're still trying to associate the brand to the tangible item. So what they get is an actual voucher that is branded to the company already, that they then have the flexibility to use for whatever they want. So when it comes to the recipient satisfaction for the, for the products, you find them to quickly prefer what gives them more flexibility than what they're used to. They like rice or not because that's all they get and that's all they think they can get. Or they, they like anything else that is better if you just offer it to them. So if you split, so, uh, so what's... Um, so how do you sustain the business? So are you, do, you take a, do you take a cut of the total value or...? Yeah, so we earn on the, on, the, on the merchant side. We do not charge the customer for the value. They paid for the face value of the, of the vouchers that they receive. So we try to, you know, be the guys supplementing the revenue of these uh, brands. So for, doing, for going out to sell to these corporates, to these individuals, we'll take a, a percentage of the value that is redeemed from the merchant. So, I mean, so, I, mean I, I, I hate to think that, you know, this is as simple as it is for sure gifts. I mean, what else is, what's, what's behind, what else is behind the short gift, short gift platform, what's on the platform as well? Right, so, so you know, a lot of the effort really in, in the first two years or so was really building out that merchant network for, for acceptance and that is still a lot of work to, to manage and administer, you know, having so many redemption points and different redemption systems, that's, that's a headache. And then also managing the customers as well. But what we, you know, what we found is that, you know, the business sort of, you know, becomes clockwork as, as, it, as it scales. Uh, what's really under the hood, though, is uh, you know the, the, the sophistication of the tech behind behind it all. So it just seems like a voucher that you go buy and sell, but the vouchers are reusable. For example, at the physical stores, so you have to sort of administer balances for each voucher, manage the life cycle of every individual voucher. You could swap the vouchers from one merchant to the other. So this sheer tech that that, that requires is heavy. A lot of our corporate customers also integrate into our APIs to enable them to automatically generate these vouchers. For example, Diamond Bank, they use us for one of, some, one of their programs. That sort of integration and handshake between different tech teams is pretty Have they, have they well. done it yet? Are they fully integrated yet? They're done. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. It was pretty efficient, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's a bit interesting. And we think, you know, we're just beginning. We're just beginning to really grow our distribution and sales we just started starting to grow so now is the time when you know a lot of people will start hearing a lot more about about showgates into the future so uh, so i saw on the website as well you do like registry i mean uh, wedding yeah um, yeah registry yeah so that's one of the channels that we're trying to use to court the retail segment so people who are doing weddings and, you know wedding culture as well they come with blenders and plates and china and coolers and then you don't you have a storeroom full of things that you don't need a lot of couples now are choosing to just, you know, create a registry, put their, create a link and say, hey, you don't want to give me anything for my wedding, just send me a voucher, I'll choose what I want to buy, buy with it myself. And that's, you know, couples like that a lot. We've not really built that product out, but it's, it's working pretty well. So, a question, so what about the made in Nigeria opportunities? So, I think most of, most of the stuff I see there are already, should I say, foreign type um, stuff there. How, how, how do we connect? So is there an opportunity, opportunity to connect um, customers with made in Nigeria? Um, yes. Um, so products so we, and services. I mean, okay. Yes, yeah, so, uh, products especially. Yeah. So we try to you know make sure the bulk or probably most of our, our merchant base are, are local local brands, local merchants. So we have guys like Game Spa, Cafe New, where that's where you can buy vouchers for. We also have, we're also in Kenya, where you have the local brands in Kenya as well. On, oh, on so you're also in Nigeria as well? Yes, we are. So we think, you know, it's good to be first in, in this market for this sort of instrument. As we're trying to grow, grow it out. So yeah, so we, we, try, we work primarily, our mission really is to help Nigerian brands grow, grow their business. And that's what we're doing. Deliveries nationwide in Nigeria. So if I was in Kano, for instance, and I wanted a card, I know I wanted to deliver a car delivered to Canada. How long will it take? Uh, usually within 48 hours, we work with logistics partners and the reputable ones to deliver the physical cards. For the emailed version, it's pretty much instant. And then what you can do in Kano is pretty much contingent on our merchant network in Kano. So we have some brands that are in Kano where you can go to redeem like Game and guys like Jimmy that delivers nationwide. We also have utility bills, so you can redeem your vouchers for things like toll, power, water, and things like that. So, I requested a gift to myself, and I uploaded my picture, right, on the card. So, do you have is that outsourced, or do you have that 
No, uh, so we, we in, do in house. Yeah, in house. So we have a, a designer work on the image that you uploaded, have, have the design elements on the physical card, and have it delivered as well. For the emailed version, you can also do that sort of customization, particularly the corporates that want the elements of the email to look like them. So the company's images, the company's logos, we have a platform specifically for companies that help the HR teams upload the employee list, the recipient list, do bulk deliveries, customize the templates and all of that. Very interesting, we should, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll talk more, off, um, more offline. How long have you been in existence in Nigeria? Um, um, how much have you done? What, uh, uh... Yes, so we're, we're in the middle of our, of our fourth year in Nigeria. The first few years is really building out the, the merchant network. So the success metric there would be how well we've been able to deploy or create a merchant network and deploy the redemption systems to those merchants, how well the merchants have been able to accept us as a payment instrument within, within their store, with a, good, a very good relationship with the merchants would be a key metric there. And then the second, the flip side of like a critical success factor for us would be how well the customers have been able to adopt the product. So how frequently are people redeeming their vouchers? Uh, how frequently are corporate customers coming back to use us? So we have companies coming back every single day, every quarter, every year and that's that's a measure of success for us and then how do we grow this customer base going forward in the future the success will be how effectively we can distribute these vouchers both offline where you can walk into a cafe for example and pick up a bean or a cafe new gift card in store how, how can we empower these merchants to sell their own gift cards to their own customers that will be a factor for us in the future as well. so what's your marketing strategy to try to create awareness right at the even Corporate, well, individuals in, corp in corporate organizations. Because, because I don't think if I asked ten people in Diamondback today, have you heard of Showcase? Uh, maybe one, which is me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some other yeah, people so, would know. So um, our approach really had been to to court the HR departments and the marketing teams within these companies who are already who already have reward programs. So we, we have pretty much some very reputable customers like you know like Airtel or One or DHL that every single employee receive some sort of gift card every month, every day or every quarter. Some of them have very robust reward programs where on, on each employee's birthday, it automatically delivers a voucher into their emails and things like that. So some, a lot of the employees, you have over 60,000 re redemptions. So we actually have a good, you know, redemption base to, to sort of get enough data on what employees think about the product. So in terms of like, uh, customer acquisition, strategy for the corporate segment is pretty much direct relationships with these corporate institutions. On the retail side, that's a whole different game where we have to really invest in marketing campaigns and that's pretty much our, our next phase. Well, so far it's pretty much, you know, direct guerrilla type relationship management with these corporates. So, um, what's next for, for Show Gifts? Yeah, so I think we've, we've reached a stage where we're no longer experimental in, in trying to figure out whether Nigerians would buy this or not. Our, quest, our initial questions was, was whether or not Nigerians would use, use gift cards. Well, we're still going to cross a billion Naira in gift cards used in, in, this, in Nigeria. As, 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 you know, that, that sounds even, even surprising to, to us internally. We're expecting it to take a lot more you know, time. More time. Day, yeah. but, so just going back to that, going back to Asia, how many, how many people actually understand the concept and say, yes, this is very interesting? Right? And because when I just think of a few of HRs that I've met, yeah. so, it, it so, would be a challenge. Yeah, on the, face, on the, on the surface, it's, it's really hard. It's a hard sell. You, initially, when we in the first year, it was a push and pull between what is a gift card, what is a greetings card, and things like that. Very traditional HR teams mostly. But you know, when you really explain to them that, hey, you know, this entitles you to merchandise at this particular place and they get it, it's pretty straightforward. They see that, hey, you know, they can distribute all of their rewards from their computers. They don't have to work with procurements to, you know, get a quote from a few vendors and then have it delivered and then have it delivered to the, to the recipient. So they love the convenience, they love the utility to the recipient and the employees also, also love it. So it becomes an easy sell on the, you know, costs versus, you know, opportunity cost point of view for, for them. So they, they get it eventually. We just need to sort of sit down with them for a second. Excellent. Hello, well, thank you very much. We'll continue this conversation offline. I wasn't going to ask you some questions, so the competition doesn't know exactly what I'm thinking. So thank you very much for coming on to Tech Talks, and uh, we'll continue the conversation offline. Great stuff.